Labs keycards are undeniably the most valuable loot in the game. So whether you like Labs or not, you should be doing everything you can to get your hands on one of these puppies. I mean, just look at these prices. If you sold one of these, it could set you up financially for the rest of the wipe. That's why in today's video, I'm going to be showing you everything you can do to get your hands on a Labs keycard. Now, one thing to keep in mind throughout the duration of this video is that no matter what single method you use, the chances of finding a Labs keycard is very small. That's why you need to be doing everything I mentioned in this video all at once or as much as you can in order to increase the chances of hitting that jackpot. All right, first up, believe it or not, you can actually find Labs keycards in the pockets and bags of scabs. So make sure to loot your scab kills wherever possible. Next up is the scab case, more specifically the intelligence folder and the 95,000 ruble one. I've actually seen confirmed drops of Labs keycards in these two containers, which I'll show on screen right now. I've heard rumors of it dropping in the moonshine one, but I wasn't able to find any evidence of this, so take that with a grain of salt. So make sure to max out your intelligence center and keep your scav rep as high as possible. These two things will reduce the amount of time it takes for your scav case to run. Then you can spam the intel in the 95,000 one and hopefully find yourself a little lamps key card. Next up is inside wallets and docs cases found in marked rooms. Now I'm not going to go over where every marked room is, but if you get the chance to loot one, make sure to check inside the wallets and docs cases because there might be a juicy key card in there waiting for you. Next, along that same vein, there's actually a few spawns on customs that will spawn any item in the game, including wallets, dogs cases, or the labs key cards themselves. I currently know of four such spawns on customs, but if you know any more, whether it's on customs or another map, make sure to leave it down in the comments below. All right, the first spot, we're in the crane yard right now. You can see new guys just there. And if you come inside this warehouse, the first spawn is actually on these shelves right here. Next up, we just had the back of that warehouse at Old Gas Station. And if you come inside this building, the second spawn is on this table here. Next up at the back of Old Gas Station, if you come under this tree, also known as the Giving Tree, you find the spawn just here. And now for the fourth and final spot at the other end of the map, you can see Big Red here, and the spawn is just underneath these steps. Now again, if you know of any more of these spots that can spawn anything in the game, please make sure to leave them in the comments below. Alright, next up, every keycard actually has static spots where it can spawn, so I'm going to be going over all of those now, starting with the red keycard. Alright, there's actually five spawns for the red keycard here on Shoreline, up at the resort. So if we go into the west wing up to the second floor, The first spawn is through here in 205. We head through the balcony. It's just on this bit of newspaper just here. Next, staying on the second floor. Heading into room 218. This is actually, you need a key to get in here. And the next spawn's on this blue barrel. Head to the third spawn, we're going to go down into the basement. And the third spawn is just here on these shelves. Next we're heading to the admin block. The fourth spawn is just here next to this ashtray. And then finally, we're heading to the second floor of the East Wing. And the fifth and final spawn is you come through 218 here, across the balcony, and it spawns next to this laptop just here. Next up, we have the blue key curve, which has Three spawns here on shoreline, again up at the resort. First one's just over here by this ambulance. Right here on this step. Next we're going into the west wing. 
second spawn is just in West 112. By the TV on this cabinet. Next again in West Wing, just further down. Here in 104. The third spawn is on this desk right here. Alright, next up we're here on Woods, which has three violet keycard spawns. The first of which is at Checkpoint. You can see we're just down the road from Lumber. If you come up to this car here, pop the door open, it spawns just here on this chair. The next two spawns are actually going to go inside Lumber. The second spawn is just in the back of this car here on the right hand side. And thirdly, we're heading over to this shack. Where the third spawn is just here next to this book. Next, we're here on Labs, which actually has spawns for the remaining three key cards black, yellow, and green. Starting off with the black keycard, we're at the front of the lab's manager's office. And if you just come down here, the first spawn is next to these vials just here. And the second spawn is next to this phone just here. Then the third spawn, you actually need the green keycard because it's in the green keycard room. So you swipe the green key card here, unlock that. Unfortunately, I don't have it right now. It's right next to the computer, just there. Next up, we have the yellow key card, which has three spawns. Again, back at the manager's office. This time we're going in. Open this door and the first spawn is to the left of this laptop. Next, heading back out. Down these steps again. Right next to the first black keycard spawn, the second yellow keycard spawn is just here next to this computer. And then heading up here, over to the right towards this cafeteria. The third spawn is just here on this bench. And finally the green keycard which has three spawns. Again starting off at the manager's office. The first spawn is just here at the front counter. To the left of this computer. The second spawn, we're actually heading over to where the violet and red locks are. We just come in here. That's the violet room. That's the red room. And then in between these books on the shelf here is the second spawn. Next, we're heading all the way back across. Into this lab just here. And the third spawn is just here on this bench. Now the final way you can find labs key cards is in the bags and pockets of scav bosses and the cultists. In my opinion, this has the highest spawn chance, but that might just be confirmation bias because this is where I've found the most keycards. The only problem with finding keycards this way is that bosses can be often difficult to track down. They've got a low spawn chance and they spawn in multiple points on the maps. That's why Tagil is one of my favorite bosses to farm for keycards. Factory is such a tiny map that he's not that difficult to track down. However, my absolute favorite way to farm for keycards is to do nighttime shoreline loot runs. This way you can hit the five red keycard spawns, the three blue keycard spawns, and have a chance at running into Sanitar, the Goon Squad, or Cultists. Not to mention picking up a shit ton of other good loot along the way. If you want to see my exact loot run that I like to do, I'll put a link to that video down in the description. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe and check me out live on Twitch. I'm live right now at Reckless Ruin. I'll see you there.